Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm TC, AKA Thunder Cheeks. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Battalion Cruiser. It has been changed a little bit just based on where it's made. It's in a new factory this year. Uh, so let's get right into it. This board has traditional camber throughout with 3BT on the tip and tail and that sidekick technology that Battalion is known for. So for the sizes, you're looking at a 51, a 56, a 59, and for those big boys, you're looking at the 64 then. I took this board out to Copper Mountain. It uh, had about four fresh inches of snow with average temps for February, some blown snow, little chundery, and I rode it with my Ride Fuse boots and Jones Mercury bindings. So the board was stable through mild chunder. When it did get to those big push piles, it was a little iffy at best, I would say. The flex to the board, it was soft from right about your foot on front, extremely soft, I would say, from about halfway through your feet back, it's stiff as a board. So that's where most of your power is coming from. Torsionally, you can foot steer the board when you are on cat tracks. It's not like it's gonna overpower you or anything, but it's not the softest one out there. When loading up the, the tail to pop an ollie from midfoot all the way back, it feels extremely planky and stiff where it doesn't return or rebound that pop that you put into it. For butter ability, it's non-existent in the tail, way too stiff. When you get to the nose, you're able to do it. It is extremely soft where you could go over the handlebars on it. On those short, quick carves, it is fast edge to edge, uh, not as fast as your standard width board. On the medium carves, it holds up well. On those long carves, you are gonna be just carving from the middle of the board back. If you try to engage that front foot edge, you'll actually slide out. I wouldn't even think about trying to Euro carve this thing. You'll just end up on your ass or your chest. Honestly, I don't really know who should ride this board. It wasn't my favorite by any means. I actually got a powder leg without having a powder day. So that'll tell you how bad it was. My personal thoughts to this board is I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. It's, it's not great at everything or anything, I would say. I'm sure if you got it in a 20 something inch pow day and that's all you had, maybe. But uh, I'm not a huge fan of it. Didn't like the flex on it or pretty much anything about it. The three comparable boards would be the GNU Gremlin, the Solomon Super 8, and the new Jones Free Carver 9000. The bindings I recommend for this board would be a Jones Meteorite, a Solomon District, and a Union Strata. This has been my review for the Battalion Cruiser. Do you agree? Disagree? Do you own one? Are you gonna buy one? Leave a comment, let me know what you think. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell, hit those notifications so you can see what we have coming for you in the future. If you want to support us further, stop on over to angrysnowboarder.vip. I've been your host TC. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll see you around in the future.